everybody, this is Catherine St. Fair at Physic in Action. I have amazing news. Yes, it's amazing. Well, it's wonderful and unbelievable, but it's pretty amazing. Um, okay, so here we go. In the last three months, and I've been waiting for three months, I've been keeping a secret for three months. That's, cat, oh, cat's not good with secrets. Cat's not good at lying, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Amanda and I, Amanda is my filmmaker, uh, and I do gardens and things like that uh, in the summertime. And so we've been pretty busy when I don't have clients, which is, I do about 30 hours of clients a week. And right now I've been doing 20 hours of gardening as long as, it, providing it's not raining, okay? If it's not raining, I'm out there and I'm, I'm gardening. I hate getting sick. I get, hate getting wet. I do it for the fun of it. Extra money on the side. So here we go. Um, that takes up a lot of my time. So filming, she has a schedule, I have a schedule, meeting up is crazy, okay? Um, the other reason we haven't been filming and we've been leaving on the delicious workout and the fabulous um, sexy ab workout, uh, first of all, because I wanted you to have results and after seven weeks, if you don't have a delicious butt and you don't have sexy ab, there's something wrong. Either you haven't been training right or you haven't been eating right, okay? So you know what to assess, and only know, you are the only person that knows what you're supposed to be doing. Um, I know a lot of people that say, well, I did it for eight weeks, I did it six days a week, but they didn't really, they kind of watched the video, or they kind of sort of did it, or did 25 reps, and they should have been doing 50, you know what I mean? Okay, so not going in detail anymore with that. Thing is, for three months. <laughs> okay, so I'm pregnant. See? Okay. It's not mine. I'm a surrogate mom. And we've been working on this forever. Since January last year. In fact. So it's been a while. And uh, things have been hard and difficult to get going. The couple, I love them to death. They're friends of mine. I... I I've been friends with their parents for a long time, like three years now, maybe four, yeah, something like that, three years. And um, so they deserve this, and I'm capable of doing it. Obviously, I have the physique is, is up to par, and everything is ready to go. But I am 42, so there was a lot of complications, which I won't explain because it's just too complicated. Um, but for the good information is that we did some checkups. So I have my measurements before transfer. I had it a month after. We're going to go with calendar days so that you understand. We did the 13th of April was the transfer. 13th of May, I, I did a video about my weight, which I wanted to shoot myself. Um, no, I'm not kidding. The first month, I put on like 13 pounds, 14, 13, 14 pounds. And I'm thinking that was the hormones. Um, and then you'll have the video of the 13th of June, which was last week, um, which uh, everything stabilized, finally. I skipped myself. <laughs> and by the time you see those videos, you'll probably, it'll be due for me to post the 13th of July. Now, when you're talking transfer and pregnancy dates, they don't combine. So if you're doing math right now, 13th would make me nine weeks, not 12 weeks, but it doesn't work that way. And it's a very complicated issue. But according to the baby size, I'm gonna be 13 weeks on one foot. Um, so, that being said, um, I work a lot, and all I wanna do is sleep. If I can sleep four hours, I'll sleep four hours. I, I swear to God. Um, I'm doing all my exercises with my clients, but I'm not actually training myself. So it's a little bit difficult to, Keep in shape, but I'm doing not bad, I guess. Um, I was hoping to be one of those, uh, you know, moms like that that um, model there that just gave birth and still had a six pack. That's what I wanted, but I've already lost it. I mean, like maybe if I, <coughs> if I flex, but then it kicks back and says, "Hey, what are you doing?" <laughs> okay. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I will be back into filming once the gardens calm down and we have less work to do. Uh, I want to make a pregnancy workout. Since I can, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take advantage of all of this stuff. 
Um, so we're going to make a prego, probably something like a beginning of the uh, second trimester, and then maybe make one further like in October for this, the third trimester when you're like, Pfft. and it's really hard to do stuff and you should do stuff still. Um, so we're going to work on that. I do have to admit, diet. Okay, so I eat a lot of vegetables. I definitely eat a lot of fruit. This child loves fruit. Um, I'm craving unbelievable amounts of carbs. I mean, nausea and crackers. Okay, so I've been eating like one of these a week, easy, just for the nausea. That's not even that's not even my eating part. I've been eating every two hours. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, so we'll we'll go with a recap with that. Tell you what to do. What's best for you. And uh, we'll let you see how the progress goes. So thank you very much and see you soon.